Hey guys, welcome back. This is AJXG here with another video. Um, I just want to say welcome back to those who are subscribed and welcome to those who are here for the first time. So this video we're going to focus on pre-built PCs that you can buy for gaming, streaming, or content creation. You know, depending on what you want to use or YouTube, you know. Um, I did this video once, uh, six months ago. Um, I got some pretty good views, pretty good comments, so I guess I wanted to do an updated video. I'm going to try to do a bi-weekly or monthly um, pre-built PC for you guys. So, yeah. So, hopefully you this is helpful for some of you. And if not, just let me know in the comment section down below if you have more questions. Also, let me know in the comment section down below. Alright. So, let's get into it. So, we have a CyberPower PC. Okay. This has a Ryzen 3. So, this is the newest uh, chip that they have. Um, it's a 2300X with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And it has a Radeon 570, which is pretty good for an entry-level gaming PC. Um, it's only $550. Usually it's $600, um, but it's only $550. And depending on what state you live in, it might be a little bit cheaper, actually. Um, this is a great entry-level PC because it comes with one terabyte of hard disk drive so you can store all your games on there. And you have enough space also it comes with a 240 solid state drive um, for the PC so like when it boots up it'll boot up way faster than if you had a regular hard disk drive um, it's between you know probably 10 to 15 seconds to boot up um, which is really good now this one it has a glass well, I don't know if it's a glass but it's a see-through panel so you can have your, your RG color scheme that you want um, when you go in, you can change the color. You can have it a static color or you can have it change different colors, you know. So that's up to you. So this is the AMD Ryzen 3 again. Um, this is a great price, actually. I'm trying to think if you built your own PC with these same parts, you may save 50 bucks, maybe 100 But I feel like 100 is pushing it, so... Yeah, so this is actually a pretty decent price for these specs, okay? Alright, so we're going to go one level up, okay? The next PC that I'm going to show is about $300 more than the first one, but you get a huge jump. So it's not like $300 more and you get a bunch of junk in the PC. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, this is another cyber PC. Um, I'm doing like a Best Buy specific. You know, I don't have any affiliate links. I'll leave the links in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself. I won't make any commission from this. I just want to help you guys, you know, who are looking for PCs. And sometimes you go into these stores and the employees know absolutely nothing or don't know exactly what to help you out with. Okay, so this was originally a thousand dollars which sounds about right for these specs because I have the 2700X and I built one last year around this time and it came roughly around a thousand bucks but I got a lot of extra crap with it so yeah so this is a Ryzen 7 3700X okay it has 16 gigabytes of RAM um, it has a RX 580. This is the GPU that I actually have. It's doing well. It doesn't heat up. It doesn't make, It's not loud. Um, I don't really play PC games on my computer, but I have ran Overwatch on Ultra Settings and Fortnite on Ultra Settings, and my GPU it doesn't scream. So it's a good GPU to have. That's why they, you know, most PC that you see. They're not going to have, you know, a, a, a GTX, you know, 2080 because this this GPU is actually still up and kicking, okay? It has two uh, terabytes of hard disk drive, okay? So that's double of what the last one had, so that's a plus. And it still has a 240 SSD. And the outside is white. I actually like how this build looks compared to the, the, the one before. It's only 850 bucks. I know I'm saying only, but depending on your, you know, price range, this uh, PC looks pretty. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this one is pretty. Uh, if you have the money, I would say, you know, go for the bump because it's actually worth it. And the Ryzen series, the at least the 7, 
is a powerhouse. Like I honestly, I don't think I'm gonna need to change my CPU for another two generations. So maybe when the Ryzen 7 5700 comes out, I'll need to upgrade. But let's get into the Intel uh, side of PC builds for you guys. All right, all right. So we have I buy power. Okay. This has uh, Intel i5, so this would be a correlation with the Ryzen 5. I know I showed the Ryzen 3. The Ryzen 5 is anywhere between 650 and 750, so that's why I went with Ryzen 3 and the Ryzen 7, because the 5 always lands somewhere smack in the middle. Um, but yeah, back to the Intel. So the Intel Core i5, it is a 9th Gen 9400F. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM. It has a GTX 1660, which is actually pretty good. It, I say go neck and neck with the 580, the Ryzen 580, Ryzen, the Radeon 580. Um, it has one terabyte of hard drive. Okay, this is not solid state. This is just a hard disk drive. And then we have 240 gigabytes of solid state drive. Okay, so this is $850. So... So you guys can understand, uh, the AMD was 850 and it had a Ryzen 7. The equivalent to a Ryzen 7 in Intel is an i7, okay? It's not an i5, an i7 is equivalent to a Ryzen 7. So you get an i5 instead of an i7 for the same price. You don't get 16 gigabytes of RAM and you get a G GTX 1660, one terabyte, the other one had two, and this one has 240 solid state drive. Now, Intel's architecture is really good. So it's not like the i5 is gonna be so far behind the Ryzen 7, but for the Ryzen 7, especially the 3700X, because there's a 3700 and 3700X, the X has more cores and more threads to process things. So personally for me, I will go with the AMD. It's, it makes more sense financially, but if you are into Intel, there's nothing wrong with going with this PC. It's actually a great build, okay? The next one that I'm gonna show you is an i7, so you can see what the price looks like compared to the Ryzen 7, okay? So the Intel neck and neck with it. And all right, so let's get into it. So we have a Dell, okay? Dell makes pretty good PCs. The Alienwares are pretty decent. Um, the laptops, to me personally, unless you get an XPS, I can't stand Dell. I'm more of an HP Lenovo person, but that's neither here nor there. So um, this is an Intel i7, 9700, okay? It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So now this has the same amount of uh, RAM and I guess P PC, CPU power, okay? It has a GTX 1660. It has one terabyte of hard disk drive and 256 solid state drive. So, for $100 more than AMD, if you prefer Intel, you will get almost the same specs except for the two terabytes, you get one terabyte for $100 more. For $100 less, you get two terabytes with the AMD. Okay, so this is how the PC looks. You know, it doesn't have, you don't get to see all the bells and whistles on the inside. Dell doesn't typically, you know, have glass panels so you can see how it looks and have the RGB. But it's still a powerhouse, so um, it's pretty good bang for your buck. Yeah, so those are the PC pre-builds for you guys for this video. Um, also, just make sure you check out the open box section that they have in GameStop. Usually, it's people that buy it, power it on, and say, you know what, this is not for me, and bring it back, or they just, you know, buyer's remorse. They bought it and they realize that it's not worth it. Also. Uh, one last thing, there's an app called Mercari. Um, you can check there. There's people that sell pre-built PCs for a fraction of the price that they're worth. And you might get lucky out there with a gem. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. AJXG, out.